Okay, guys. Here it is. Um, from my first video, a few changes being been made. Um, I appreciate you watching my first. That was my first video ever, actually. Uh, not even really a video slideshow, but this is it. Uh, actually, it's a 24 volt trike with the electric. Um, electric motor with air suspension go over a couple of things here <coughs> got the air suspension here air cylinder uh, going to a switch from the regulator tank there got the power switch there cables kinda hanging out there I haven't run them, I'm gonna run them to the pipe kinda like I got the throttle here I got the throttle, you can see the throttle there cable that I got running around in here just got a couple of uh, Rechargeable batteries here, 20, 24 volts. Uh, we got an Altrex controller with a contactor, 24 volt motor there. Um, actually, 24 to 48 volts. Running 35 chain on it. Um, Hydraulic brakes, caliper, which is pretty good. You didn't see all that, but what you did see last time in the uh, video, I had a hand controller here for the brake, but I couldn't get enough power to run this, um, to run the master cylinder. So I've got this go kart style pedal and uh, rod system here, which is not the coolest thing kind of an afterthought but that's it works it makes it work I went with a rectangular 1x2 tuber um, 14 gauge wall thick it's kind of heavy but it works out pretty good so I went with a square front light there uh, works pretty good everything looks pretty good um, if you build one of these or something like this short of a go-kart this solid shaft here uh, makes for terrible turns and I have heard that but I didn't I didn't uh, heed the warnings there so um, Northern Tool makes a good uh, differential that you'd have to design around uh, I'm gonna have to redesign this whole rear end here that if I'm going to um, if I'm going to use that differential and I was going to go with 36 volts like I said in the slideshow before but as you can see I've got two 24 volts very small uh, batteries here 212 um, volt batteries it takes up just about all the space in that compartment there I'm um, going to come back in just a second I'm going to show you how this thing runs give me just a second to get it set up Before I just kind of give you a quick run test of it, I'm going to show you this air system real quick. If I pull this switch, I can hear the air going out of it. And there she is on the ground. Good enough. Let me get this run test for you guys. Okay, guys, I've got the uh, back wheels sitting on a couple of ammo boxes here, just barely off the ground. Um, we'll turn her on. And you can kind of see the green light there. I don't know if you can see that. 
green light there telling you it's on. And um, we'll hit the switch here and Test of the brakes too. Stops it pretty good. So and it actually does that when you're riding it too. Um, so we'll give you a ride test as soon as I can get another pair of hands and somebody to video take this uh, the whole process here. But there you go. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, definitely appreciate you watching the slideshow. That was a little. Uh, not very informative but I have a couple more videos and if anybody's interested I can go through this um, how I built this thing and it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit of overkill and but um, it's pretty cool now we'll break it down and send some things to the chromer and uh, do some framework get it cleaned up and get it painted thank you guys for watching stay tuned uh, for my test ride video